Okay, our last chance is with Gideon. Can we get a Gideon and just go bonkers crazy? I don't know. What do you guys think? Gideon? No Gideon? Please Gideon? Please Gideon? And maybe for... A pr I'll give these away. Oh, I mean, that's not terrible. I definitely love this card, but it's been reprinted several times, I believe. I think Knights versus Dragons was the last reprint on it. So, Annoy uh, Champions, Patreon, Charging Girl. This is a very good pack. Uh, all these sealed packs are so good because essentially it's like two booster packs worth of cards and one sealed pack. I love the way they did pre release, by the way. Knight of the White Orchid, double white, first strike. When Knight of the White Orchid enters battlefield, if an opponent controls more land than you do, you may search the library for a planes card and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Very good card. I might actually test it in modern. I'm playing a step links type of deck, and it seems not bad in step links. And yeah, so you put a look for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield. And then you can play it, so it's actually very, very good because it's not in the battlefield untapped. Anoint Era of Champions, I'm not positive if this is a good card. I did play it um, in my second pre-release, but who knows if it's good or not. So out of so out of my pre-release kit and then the other two kits, uh, Languish obviously was a good card. You got a Liliana out of 11 kits. Was there a 7 plus 4? Yeah, you, no. Yeah, 11 kits, uh, you, I got a Planeswalker foil, and that's very good because 11 kits essentially means that you have, again, this is, to me, a pack that doesn't cost any money because if you're going to pay $20 for a pre-release kit, that already is your value, right? Anyway, bye guys.